Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kaki Retrospect here. Today, I'm going to be doing or attempting a low pony. Now, I love to see sleek down low ponies, but I have actually never done one before. Surprise, surprise. So today is going to be my first attempt at a sleek down low pony. I don't think that it's gonna be like terrible, but we'll see. And they're such an easy looking hairstyle, like a really good go-to that you could do if you're like in a pinch for time and you don't feel like braiding your hair or anything like that. And you just wanna wear it kind of like that. But we'll see how long it takes me. I'm excited. So let's see. I'm just telling you, if I can do it, you can do it. I don't do a ton with my hair, or at least I haven't really done a ton with my own hair in the past. But I love this whole new experimenting with my hair. I think that it's it's always exciting to try new things. There's always a first time for everything, but you know, for the most part, usually people's first time isn't filming it on a camera. But I'm really glad that I'm able to show you guys like a first time for me, so. And also my hair definitely needs to be washed. So if you see any flakes, ignore those. Man to business out, this man to business. Comment down below if you know where that's from. But because I was gonna, I knew I was gonna put like a ton of gel to do the style. I was just like, oh, well, why not just do it before my pre-poo and see whether or not it's something that I would actually do, you know? Because what's the point of putting a whole bunch of gel in your hair? if it doesn't turn out right, you know? So then I was just like, it doesn't matter. Afterwards, I can just like wash it all out if I really don't like it. <laughs> you guys, I'm like scared. I really don't want this to come out bad. You know, when you're just like, please don't turn out ugly. Please don't turn out ugly. Okay, so I may be making mistakes right off the back, but the gel that I'm gonna be using is my Wetline Extreme. I don't really have any other gel that I feel like can really slick down my hair, but I have an entire jug of this and I just need to like also get rid of it. So we shall see. So in the videos that I've seen for the most part, part their hair in the sections and then they gel it down and brush it. So that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use like a substantial amount of gel to be able to do that. And I'm really gonna just focus the gel around my scalp. All right, and now I'm brushing it. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, that feels pretty flat. All right, so let's move on to the next section. So yeah, I have this as my brush that I'm using to smooth it down. And it's not a super like hard bristle brush. Like this one is so much harder, but I don't feel like I need all that. It actually, it's actually a little too hard. So I'm gonna stick to this one and hopefully, hopefully it works just fine. All right, I'm gonna put it in a pony just to keep it smooth. These was not, honestly, so far it doesn't seem too bad. So, excited about that. I know this is like a go-to style for a lot of people and it seems so simple. But then when you do it on your hair, you're just like, why does my hair never turn out like that? So I feel you, I'm in the same boat and that actually keeps me, and I'm not even gonna lie, that keeps me from doing a lot of hairstyles like thinking that I just can't do them and then when I do attempt to do them they don't come out how I see other people's hair comes out and I'm just like well you know they probably have a lot more practice and have been doing this for quite some time and unless you actually try yourself you know who's to say that it, you know couldn't turn out really really well for you and even if it doesn't practice does make perfect so just because something doesn't work out for you on the first go around, you know, maybe change up your tools, change up your products. That could really help you achieve what you would like to achieve. Like, I feel the pain. I really don't do a lot of hairstyles because I question whether or not I have the ability or the capability of doing them and just do it. See whether or not it works for you and just do it. I absolutely love doing videos like these where I'm doing something for the first time and showing you like, could not turn out the way that I wanted it to. I remember a few videos ago, I did a wash and go and I literally had no idea how it was gonna turn out because surprise, surprise, I learned how to perfect my wash and go by doing videos. Like, so, you know, just practicing yourself. I feel your rhythm inside of me What I like to see Hands on your body You feel my rhythm inside of you Oh, I never 
well then hello, I'll introduce myself The name B.C. Hill, name is High Ladies Mel Got a whole lot of lines that get stuck in my mind But I ain't frontin' none at all, let's get back and rewind My model slow way, smile ever since to correct My bar show my style, better watch on the mic And yeah, go full throttle lift the melodies tight Cause when I step and say a line, sure it's something you like Yo, one, two, three, two, go, four My heart stay falling when I'm walking through your door No conversation about the waiting from last week We both leave sweating like athletes So you wanna roll with me and that's good If you wanna start approaching me with that look First glance, first dance, had a man hooked By the shower in the morning, how a man cook Hey, hey, I feel your rhythm inside of me What I like to see Hands on your body You feel my rhythm inside of you Oh, I never knew Made me feel brand new Okay, so I think I think I got it I think I got it to a point where I'm happy at. Okay, so this is how it looks. I actually really like it. I think that it's pretty low down to my head. So the main issue that you'll probably have, especially if you're doing it like to the side, is that it will split. Like the hair will start splitting and then you'll be able to see your scalp. And it's just like, but why are you doing this to me? You did this for what? So I, I don't know, I spent a good amount of time trying to get it to a point where I would just be happy with wearing it. I think that I've achieved that. So the next step I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of the Lotta Body with Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse just on top because I do see some flyaways. So I'm just gonna spray a tiny bit on my hand. I feel like it's still kind of trying to separate in the, in the front. So I'm gonna, again, use this to smooth it down. All right, let me just spray a bit more foaming mousse. I'm gonna leave it just like that too because I don't want it, I don't know if it's gonna separate. Eh. I'm telling y'all, this seems like such an easy style and I'm sure it is once you have it like down to a T and you know exactly what to do, but like I was, I was sweating a little bit. I'm just gonna spray down my ends. So I love the look of when people just wear it just like this or in a bun, you know, if you really want to protect your end. So you can really just do it either way. Okay, so while I set, I literally look ridiculous. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some lashes on because why not? Why not? So I'm just gonna also put on a tiny bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Nubian by Juvia's Place. It is filthy on here. That means I can get to you faster. Rhythm close to my body. Trying to find me a shotty. Man, they like to get naughty. So hard, call me Fuego Almighty. Alrighty. So I feel like it should be all done. Let me see if it's separated. I would be so mad if it's separated. It did separate a little bit, but I think I just push it back. And that's it. <laughs> So this is how it looked um, just out. I think I'm definitely going to bun it. I'm just gonna use a big scrunchie. And usually when I do ponytails, I always do big scrunchies like this because the small ones definitely take a while to wrap around my hair. I just took my hair, twisted it about like that, just like that. Just do a cute little donut bun. And then I put it one time around the bun. I hope that looks cute from the back. Okay, and then also I do wanna zhuzh it up just a little bit. I do have these two little snap clips. Okay, and it looks good! And it looks so cute on the first attempt! Oh my gosh, okay, look, so this is what it looks like. I hope that was like in focus, but yeah. And actually, I'm gonna put earrings on just just for this too. Okay, so I hope my ear holes have not closed because I have not put earrings on for a really long time, so that went in just fine. This is my low sleep pony. I am so happy that I did this. It looks so cute. We did that. <laughs> we did that. We did that together. Okay, because I know you guys were rooting for me. I knew you were rooting for me. All right, I have a little bit of flaky flakes, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Carol's daughter, Mimosa Hair Honey on the part, just to shine it up a bit. 
so that my flakes aren't super apparent. I think that it looks absolutely beautiful. You can definitely wear this literally anywhere you want to work, a wedding, school, super simple. And if your hair is just like on its last leg and you need to wash it, but you can't, this is honestly a really good hairstyle to go to. I really do love it. I'm gonna take it out because I actually do wanna wear it as a pony as opposed to a bun. But yeah, ooh yeah, I like that. I like that so much more. Super cute, okay. I'm excited. It did separate just a little bit in the front like here, but continuously messing with it really didn't help. So I'm just gonna leave that, I'm just gonna leave that just how it is right there, okay? But yeah, okay, great. I will continue to do it. It is so, it actually really is super simple. The only thing is, I do need to get a hang of like the swoop, but yeah, I typically, I don't do like baby hairs or anything like that. So I do like to keep it really simple, as simple as, I'm a lazy natural and I live by that, okay? <laughs> so this is definitely a go-to if you're in a pinch. So much cuter than the low ponies that I've ever attempted to do previously, but it's really, it's really cute and I love it, okay? But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.